I will show you an amazing trick that can solve this very hard Sudoku by taking the place of 13 advanced strategies. And with that, it's solving time. Before you get to the amazing technique, you do need to see how far you can get with traditional solving. If you look at the twos, you'll see with these twos and columns two and three and this two, you can actually solve for two easily here in block four. Greetings, friend. Damo is a new setter to this channel who created a challenging puzzle that requires a particular Sudoku trick to solve easily. Otherwise, you need about 13 advanced strategies. Thank you, Damo, for this puzzle. Before I search for the next solve, I want to hear from you. How often do you attempt to solve very hard puzzles? I'm talking extreme, unfair, diabolical type puzzles. Please, please, please share in the comments and help me grow the internet's best Sudoku community. Now, you want to change your focus. Look at all the digit restrictions from 1 to 9. If you look at the 1s, you'll notice there's only two places for a 1 in block 9. So you just want to mark any time a can appears only two times in a 3x3 three three block. This will help you show restrictions. With these 1s, you have ones here in block four. And this is how you test the puzzle to see how hard it really is. We solved the two, but with these twos, you have twos in block three, twos in block six, three places for a two in block nine. Not going to solve that. You just want the two candidates possible for the solving purposes. Threes. Threes here in block six. Three here in block two, this three, and this three. We're going to look here. So these threes, threes in block five, and then in block seven with these threes right there. Move on to the fours. Not getting any other solved digits. Fours in block three, fours in block two. Fours in block four, and fours in block seven. You'll notice they're right on top of the threes. That means the three and four are the only two digits that can go there. That's a hidden pair. You do want to mark that, and it gives you actually a small clue of the correct solve path. These will come in handy just a little bit later. All right, look at the fives. Just two places for a five in block seven. And then with the sixes, Sixes in block three, and then sixes here in block six, and then in block seven with these two sixes, same places as the fives. So you actually have a five six hidden pair here as well, which gives you an eight nine naked pair. And I cover hidden pairs in naked pairs in my free Sudoku solving guide. But this is another clue that the setter is giving you here. Uh, keep in mind, Demo goes by Demo in the CTC Discord server, but he put Demo underscore 89 as author of this puzzle. And there's an 8-9 naked pair right there. I wonder how that's going to play into this solve. Okay, go into the sevens. With these two sevens, sevens restricted in block six. And with this seven this seven, Sevens here in block one. Okay, the eights got one eight. Nothing you can do with the eights. And then the nines, there's no given nines in this puzzle. So a solving tip, you do want to go back through and this time focus on the pairs. Interesting situation going on right here. If you ever see this pattern where you have all these pairs, twos, threes, sixes, and sevens, four sets of digits in four cells, guess what? Those four digits, two, three, six, and seven, are restricted to those cells, which means these two cells can't be a one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. This has to be an eight, nine naked pair. And if you want, you can look here and check it out yourself. You'll notice that you'll see ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes, sevens, all cover these two cells. But this is an easy way to kind of see that. And again, another 8-9 pair shows up. And so now you want to kind of fill out a heavy house because there's really nothing else you can do. That's it. 
for the solves. And so you got to find a really hard strategy or this trick I'm about to show you. Focus here on this heavy house. You have at least five digits filled out, so it's a heavy house. One, two, five, six, seven. You need a three, four, eight, and nine. Three, four, eight, nine right there. Okay. This can't be a three, four, which makes it another eight, nine naked pair. This can't be an eight. This can't be a three. And this could be a three, four, eight, or nine. Okay, I mean, we got another buy by sell BVC that's always helpful. And there's something cool going on down here as well. You notice you have the 8 9 here, 8 9 here, and an 8 9 here. Check out this 8 9 and kind of compare it to this 8 9 right there. If whatever value this is, this is an 8, it cuts through this entire row right and so in the block if it's an eight the eight would have to be one of these two digits if it's a nine it has to be one of these two digits either way whatever this value is would be in one of these two digits here one of these two cells in block nine so what does that mean to this cell well what it means is this would have to be the opposite value so this is an eight and eight be stuck in one of these two cells hopefully you see that which would force a nine right here if this is a 9, a 9 would have to be in one of these two cells because it can't be here and it force an 8 right there. So these two digits have to be opposites. One's an 8 and one's a 9. This is beautiful logic. And what Damo uses here is this kind of, I call this the corner block method. You shut through here, it forces the other dig the same digit in a pointing pair situation. And it puts an impact on this other buy value cell. It's also kind of like an extended remote pair, but you can find this by using the trick of coloring. But we're not done. There's a lot more great solving that you have to do in this puzzle to realize here. So first, since one of these are an eight and one of these are a nine, this cannot be an eight or nine. That has to be a three or four. And then this cell right here can't be an eight or nine either. And so it could be a 1, 2, or a 5, because that's what goes into this block. But we're not done. Notice now that you create a 3, 4 naked pair right here. So 3 and 4 have to be in these two cells in this column. So what does that do for this 4? Can't be there anymore, right? So now you can solve that cell for a 4. And this is just the beginning. We're just getting started. There is going to be a little bit more harder things to do but if you understand how the coloring works you're gonna make a lot of progress because now you can remove a four from here and you have an eight nine naked pair in row two so this has to be the opposite value of this cell right here right and so since you have an eight nine pair here this cannot contain a nine anymore so that's gonna be a three four naked pair okay you notice how this is works keep following this because we're gonna get more great solves here in fact you can kind of go back and use this to figure out something else this blue cell that's here and blue there actually means that uh, this has to be the opposite value right there and where can this blue value go here in block four well it has to be an eight or nine Eight or nine can't be there or there, and it can't be in any of these cells. So this cell here actually has to be an eight or nine. That's the only thing it can be, and it's got to be blue. So you kick out the one. You can use that logic. I'm going to warn you, though. The only logic you can't use right now is you can't infer too much with these two cells. You, like, you can't say, because this is a blue and that's an orange, that you can eliminate eights and nines right here. That's not going to work. But what you can do is use this to show that that's going to be the opposite of this cell and this is going to be the same. And so now you can see you have an 8, 9 naked pair here. What finishes up this block is a 7, 8, 9. Well, this cannot be an 8 or 9. So that has to be a 7 now, which is going to give you an 8, 9 right there, which will be the opposite value of this 8, 9. Okay, so you have an 8, 9 here. 8, 9 here, 7 there, this place is 7, 
And now you can solve this cell for a seven. And again, this is awesome. The way you're making all of these solves, it just gets better and better. Look across here. You have a one, two, three, four, five. You need a six, seven, eight, nine to finish row six. Well, the six and seven is right there. This is, guess what, an eight or a nine. And it's going to be the opposite value of this one. So you can put that there, which gives you a nice six, seven naked pair to finish row six. And we're just going to keep using these colors to work yourself all the way through this solve here. All right. And so something else you can keep in mind here. You have the orange cell here in column eight, orange cell here. So where can the orange cell be in block nine? All right, well, it can't be here or here because of these orange cells. It can't be here or here because that's a four and a seven. So the eight, nine, it has, this has to be an eight, nine as well. And it has to be the orange colored cell. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So you can make these kinds of inferences here. And then this creates an eight, nine naked pair across here. So this cell cannot contain an eight or a nine. What could it be? Well, it could be a one, but it can't be a two, three, four, five, seven, eight, and now it can't be a nine. So this has to be a one or a six right there. And then you got another crucial intermediate step that I want you to notice. In column six, where can a one go? can't be here because of this one, and it can't be here because of this one. So the ones are restricted in column six of these two cells. So that makes them a claiming pair, which means the ones can't be in any of these cells over here, right? Because if you put a one over there, you'd have no place to put a one in column six. And so now one or six can't be in these two cells, right? And a one and six can't be here. And a 1 and 6 can't be here. So where can the 1, 6 be in column 4? It can only be in these two cells. So that creates a nice hidden pair of a 1 and 6. You've got to find this uh, to help make more progress. And so now you have a 1, 6 right there. And so how does that help you solve? You end up with a 5, 8, and 9. So the 5, 8 right here means that this cell has to be a 9. Okay? And since this is a 9... This is going to be an 8. And guess what? This is the beauty of this coloring. Every one of these orange cells, you can solve for an 8 right away. Bam. That's an 8. And you can remove this. Whoops. You can remove that as your colored cell. And you know that has to be your 9. Nine. Now you know with logic that you can actually solve this one for your nine. And then every other blue cell, you can solve for a nine. All right, so let's solve those for nines. And so now you used all that coloring and we made all of these solves. With these two nines, we're not quite done with the nines yet, but you can put the nines right there in block three. This is beautiful. I love this puzzle. I hope to get more of Deimos puzzles on this channel. So Let's remove the colors now, because you've solved all those eights, all those nines. Look how much progress you made here. Now, where do we go? Well, you can see here that you got a one, three, four right there. This has to be an eight, because that's the only place the eight can go in that cell. And then... With this nine, you know, you got to have a nine in one of these cells right here. And what you can do is you can fill out a one five right here and a two five right there. All right. And that's going to be the twos right there. And then you look and you go three, four here. So this ends up being a five and an eight. Well, because of that eight, there's your eight and there's your five. Okay. And then with these two fives, five's got to be right there. All right. You got the one six here. You got the fives there. This actually ends up being a nice five, seven, nine. Naked triple because can't be a one or six. Can't be a two, three, four, or an eight. All right. And now let's see what you can do. 
with your solvent here. You might notice that what you have left in this block, you need a 1, 3, and a 9. So that's going to be a 1, 9. That's going to be a 1 or 3 or a 9, and this would be a 3 or a 9. All right, come across here. Because we have one more itsy bitsy little trick you gotta apply to this puzzle. This would be a two seven, like I told you, because those are the digits that were in there from those pairs, and that's gonna be a two or three. All right. Another thing you gotta notice to get rid of some of these marks is look here in column nine. You got a one four five seven eight. You need a two three six or nine. You have a two nine in this row, so that's a three six. You have a 2 and a 3 in the row in the block, so that's a 6 or a 9. And then you have the 3 and the 6 right here, so that's a 2 or a 9. One itsy bitsy trick you got to see to get the rest of this puzzle to solve smoothly. You notice that's a 2, 3, right? Well, it shares a candidate with this cell right here. So that's a 3, 9. Okay, so 2, 3 here, 3, 9 there. And it also shares a column and a candidate with this cell right there. Together, you have all three paired possibilities of the digits 2, 3, and 9. If this is a 2, that would be a 9. If this is a 3, that would be a 9. So no matter what value this is, you're going to have a 9 in one of these blue cells. And since you have a 9 in one of these blue cells, anything that sees it or shares a row or column can't contain a 9. That's this cell right here. That cannot be a 9. Because if you put a 9 right there, what you'll see is that would be a 3, and that would be a 2, and then you have nothing to put right there, right? So we know you can remove the 9 from here. This is a Sudoku XY wing. The only other advanced strategy you need besides that cool trick I've been showing you with the coloring. And what it does is you solve this cell now for a 1 because you remove the 9. And after solving that for a 1, you can see that you can remove... The one from right there, it gives you a 3-9 naked pair, and we're going to be able to do some more solves. That can't be a 1, so this has to be your 1 right here. All right. And then you can notice across row 3, where can a 4 go? Well, it can't be here because of this 4. It can't be here because of this 4. It can be there, but it cannot be here or here because of these 4s. So you can solve this cell now for a 4, All right, which gives you a nice... 2, 5 right there. And then when this 3, you got the 4 and the 3 right there, right? And you got the 4 right here. Move that as a 4. Let's get rid of these colors and see how much further you can get with your solving. Because we're going to be able to clean up a lot of these marks now. That's going to be a 4. That's going to be a 3. All right. And then you can look down. This 3 and this 3, solve this for a 3, solve that for a 9, displacing that 3. Start displacing the marks. That's a 6, displace that 3, displace that 2, and displace that 7. And then you can gobble up the 6 here, the 1 right there, the 6 and the 1 right there. That's got to be your 5, that's got to be your 6. Look at all that hard work. Now we're going to be able to get the payout for this, right? So this is your 1, you got this as a 7. You can remove the 7s from right here, which gives you a 7 here to finish column 5. And then you can see that we got this 6, so there's your 9. There's going to be your 6 right there. That's got to be your 2. That's going to be your 5. That's going to be your 9. That's going to be your 5. And you got two more digits, right? So because of this 2, that's got to be your 2. And our last digit is a 5. Now see if you can apply the coloring technique I just showed you to this next puzzle. Thank you so much for watching.